going on you guys team budgie here bringing you guys a live duel and today we have mech knight musketeer versus orcus scrap so uh chris with orcus scrap starts off with double alluring he banishes a orcus bombard and he banishes uh, a wand to uh to get the two four draws practically so now he's normal summon scrap recycler and he ends up dumping another wand to grave so wand's effect is pretty much uh you banish it and you get a special summon a banished machine type from the banish zone so he summons um bombard and right there he has an instant galatea play he activates galatea to set babel to shuffle it and set and activate babel so now uh he banishes a bombard from grave oh he sent a bombard and now he banishes bombard to special summon from hand a uh, orcus monster so now he's linking again into a barricade blocker so barricade blocker lets you discard um any card from your hand without like having to get a field spell from grave so he ends up dumping a symbol and he activates symbol to summon galatea into ding so now he activates nightmare effect to dump a gizmic if i remember correctly yeah he does dump a gizmic so he's gonna activate gizmic's effect he's gonna banish from the top of his deck uh, i think it's eight and he summons gizmic so right here obviously i'm pretty sure he's doing it for link link plays and he summons ip mascarina and yeah obviously this card is really good depending on the matchup now it's angel turn and actually we've featured his deck on the channel bef before too so link will be down below so he ends up summoning first a kid brave and he mind controls to try to take away one of the links and what his opponent doesn't know is that kid brave um also has an effect where if a spell card or trap i believe is activated in his column he gets to discard one and draw two so that's pretty good he ends up setting a card which is then revealed to be a uh, part of desires and uh, our opponent cosmos it because um mech knight stuff you know so he ends up summoning magical musketeer max so this card is pretty damn op he ends up special summoning from the deck a uh, musketeer monster because depending on how many monsters his opponent has or how many spells his opponent controls so chris ends up activating symbol to summon ding back and angel activates a spell card that allows him to negate the effect of a monster and make it to attack zero so he ends up choosing zero boros chris attaches a material to ding uh if you guys did not know musketeers allow you to activate spell mu musketeer spell and traps from hand at any given mo moment so he ends up getting a searching a calamities from the monster i forgot the monster's name but yeah he ends up utopia doubling it wasn't obvious chris right here has no outs to this utopia double he is about to get smacked with ten thousand damage since zero boros is at zero ding cannot obviously ding would protect it but he can't protect it because he already lost the game so yeah he ends up activating the utopia double thing he does a little utopia shenanigans he attacks for ten thousand, and that is game that's game one take this time to tell you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're new because you guys do not want to miss out on this juicy content leave a like if you're enjoying this L drop a comment down below and both of these deck profiles will be down in the description or i will have a little card showcasing them so now um uh chris made angel go first because he knew what he was playing already he saw the indigo in hand earlier he ends up summoning a musketeer card he activates part of desires right under his column that way he gets the pluses he draws the two he adds he specials sorry a musketeer card from deck and i believe that is kid brave i'm not 100 percent sure but because i do not know these musket cards but yeah he ends up doing that uh he goes into max and obviously his opponent has no monsters or spells so he really can't do much but he ends up summoning a mech knight monster since he controlled two cards in the column he ends up searching what is he search he probably banished it did he Mm, no, I'm searching the blue mech knight and if I remember correctly, he just passes his turn. He cannot do anything going first um, The max the max like max thing he could do is probably have like negates on his hand But Chris ends up summoning a pank. That's already an immediate threat to him and he kaijus his other musketeer card I really don't know why he did that. This ends up activating Babel Angel responds by negating it and destroying it with one of his musketeer traps that he had set down so Chris ends up activating Danger Nessie from hand and he's able to special summon it and draw a card 
I'm not 100% sure what he discarded. But if it was an Orcus, he's definitely plusing really good right now. So, Chris attacks with Pank. But Angel responds by activating the spell card from hand. Which negates Pank and puts it at zero. Uh, I really don't know why he didn't chain. I'm not, like, I, I really don't, but... Chris ends up still having to play. He ends up normal summoning Armageddon Knight. And he ends up dumping Phantom Boots Monster. And if you guys don't know, he allows himself to get banished to search a rank up spell. And that's what usually what you do into like your Calamities play. So he ends up Link summoning Barricade Blocker again with Nessie and Gaiden Knight. So he ends up dumping uh, Orcus Nightmare. And then he banishes Orcus Nightmare to dump a Wonder Wand. And Wonder Wand lets, lets itself get banished to special summon from the banished zone, obviously. So right here he has an instant Galatea play and before he even gets to activate Galatea's effect my boy Angel Nibiru's him. So now Chris has um, like he should have like no plays at all but he does. He ends up activating Symbol Skeleton to special Galatea back. Uh, that, that wasn't supposed to be an extra monster zone but he ends up dinging so like really it'll end up being there. So he activates Galatea's effect to set. Uh, Orcus crescendo down and right here he's just thinking he ends up going into ding like I said so it would be in the extra monster zone and with that he just ends on ding because he got Nibiru so Angel ends up normal summoning a musket card he links into the max and he activates the spell and trap one that lets him search two spells spell or trap from his deck and add it to his hand because his opponent has two spells or traps set so he special summons a mech knight he searches and then he attacks with the primal being on ding and now having a musketeer card he's able to activate the same spell that negates the effect and puts it at zero angel ends up activating dancing needle and what this card does it allows him to banish three cards from his opponent's grave which is pretty OP and it's devastating for Chris because he needs his Orcus cards engraved. So he ends up banishing a symbol, a ding, and a Galatea. So now we see him go into a Morningstar. And what Morningstar does is that it cannot be destroyed by battle if the card's not in the same column. So his opponent's card has to be in the same column to destroy it. So he sets one and passes it to Chris. And Chris is just reading Morningstar. That way he does not misplay. So I'm pretty sure you're thinking right now, how's this boy gonna come back? There's like there's no way, right? So he cosmics the mech knight trap, which allows him to like um, negate monster effects in the same column as a mech knight. So Chris activates the nightmare that Angel mistakenly left in the grave. He dumps a wand with nightmare. He activates wand's effect to bring back the banished Galatea that angel banished with dancing needle and he activates Galatea's effect to set a uh, orcus spell or trap from deck so he ends up attacking the max with Galatea and he goes into ding ding's effect to attach from the banish and he attaches the symbol so obviously you just saw how good of recursion that orcus have so you're probably like, damn, this guy's a madman. Why is he in the ding to draw two, which was his only line of protection? And that's because he sends a card from hand to get Babel back on the field. And Babel allows him to play in his opponent's turn. So he is not scared whatsoever. And Babel is really OP. So Angel starts off by summoning another Musketeer card. Knows he had to respond now with ding because if he links into another max, he will plus two more spells or traps and that could be devastating for Chris. So he ends up passing it and right now he's thinking during end phase but he ends up doing nothing. He draws his card and now Chris is ready to dominate the field because all Angel has is a morning star. So he instant fusions and he's going into a thousand eye restrict. He takes his morning star that was an easy take and he links an eye restrict for a link Karibo. So he ends up linking into a Galatea by using the Primal Bean token and the Ingirsu. He activates Galatea's effect to shuffle 
one of his banished orcus monsters into the deck to set a spell trap from the deck at this point i believe chris has the field he has full control already so he ends up passing it to angel and angel draws his card so he's just checking his grave to see what he has in grave and pretty i'm pretty sure he has full like orcus combo there so he ends up special summoning a mech knight card to attack over the link karibo but link karibo's effect uh, is that if his opponent monster declares an attack, he could tribute itself and make the attack of the Mech Knight monster zero. So there was a little like um, dispute of whether like he gets to replay his attack, and it was ruled that he does get to replay his attack. So yeah, they're just clarifying that right now. So yeah, so he ends up ending his turn because his Mech Knight became zero. So Chris ends up cosmic cycloning the set card that Angel had, which was a double or nothing. He ends up going into Dingirsu and he attacks over the, the Mech Knight monster. I thought the optimal play will be to send probably the Mech Knight and attack directly, but he had other plans. He activates return to draw two, which is super good. He has a symbol engraved, so he could bring back the Ding anytime. Um, yeah, he pretty much has control, like I said earlier. And he still has his set crescendo. So he ends up symboling into a Galatea. So now Angel draws his one card. He activates instant fusion. And obviously this is game. Because he has the negate. And Angel has nothing else to do. So this is game 3 they're going into. So they're both 1-1 one, one right now. And the competition is pretty fierce right now. So any of these players could take it. Both their decks have the power to maintain control of field and produce enough damage to kill a person in, in one turn. So Angel makes Chris go first. He activates the same shenanigans of Wand and uh, Nightmare. And he summons Galatea on field. And he shuffles the Wand or Nightmare. Uh, sorry, the Nightmare. To set and activate a Babel. And like I said earlier, Babel is really OP. It's it's this should have been banned. It's too good. Letting him play in his opponent's turn is crazy. So Chris ends up setting one, and he links over the the Galatea to summon Ding. And Angel starts it off by normal summoning a musket monster, and he activates a trap card. Allows him to destroy a monster on field, and Chris responds with Ding effect, and Angel responds with a spell to negate it. But he forbidden chalices his his musket monster which i assume doesn't allow him to activate spells or traps from hand so now he pot of desires he drew two and he ends up linking into the max and he's gonna plus the one the one spell again he's trying to just establish the control and have cards in hand to activate so he ends up attacking over the ding and he sets one and he passes it to chris chris looks at his grave and sees that Babel is in grave so he activates Babel to send a card from hand which was wand and he adds the babble back he activates babble and he responds with the trap card to negate and destroy babble he does not want babble on field it's too op but chris could do anything time is called and it ends up being a tie chris cannot burn him or anything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and keep it budget that was we'll see you guys next time yeah actually oh no i didn't have this in hand well